You know, if I say something, I mean it. These things happen. Yeah. What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna be talking about a little bit of something different. It's just time for me to finally share it out with you guys and get a pulse on what you think. What we're gonna be talking about today is this term called political correctness. This is America. Don't catch you slipping, no. Don't catch you slipping, no. Whether or not you realize it, you're participating in it by monitoring your speech at all times, making sure you're not saying the wrong thing to the wrong person at the wrong time, something that could be offensive or taken the wrong way. So you're kind of constantly auditing and, and closing in in an ever small and shrinking box of what you can and cannot say, be that at work, be that in a certain friend group or social circle uh, within the family unit that you exist in, or if you are on Twitter, social media of any kind, what you can put out there certainly has its own set of rules and parameters to what you can say and, and can get away with. You know, I think it has to go. This, this is a terrible situation we find ourselves in. We can't have fun anymore. We can't tell jokes uh, without it being at someone's expense and someone being so offended that, you know, you've put them on the wrong path of life and now they could be at risk in some way. So what we have to do is basically just say no more. For me, I like to find the origin of things. I don't want to go back to a place where I believe PC culture invented itself in our generation and the millennial generation specifically. And it's going to be a bit of a weird take, but Go with me on it. 2001, there was this movie that got put out. Most everyone who listens to this video has not only seen this movie, uh, you know every line in this movie because it is kind of a great movie. That movie's Legally Blonde. Elle Woods gives her commencement speech uh, after graduating Harvard Law School, and this is what she says. On our very first day at Harvard, a very wise professor quoted Aristotle. The law is reason free from passion. Well, no offense to Aristotle, but in my three years at Harvard, I have come to find that passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of law and of life. It is with passion, courage of conviction, and strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world remembering that first impressions are not always correct. You must always have faith in people. And most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations, class of 2004. We did it! Woods, thank you for giving the shortest commencement speech of all time. That was a solid 51 seconds. L. Woods, Harvard Law School graduate, the character that we root for the entire movie. She's the do-it-all female, that girl who's pretty, who's intelligent as well, but effortlessly intelligent. Obviously, she didn't have to try too hard to get into Harvard Law School. They kind of play on that a lot. Uh, she gets in, she wins a big case in, in a surprising turn of events, you know, underdog story as well. Uh, she gets to speak, obviously, at the end and, and deliver the commencement speech to her graduating class. She quotes Aristotle, and it's a famous quote regardless of the movie, even though the movie made this quote very famous. She says, to quote Aristotle, law is reason free from, from passion. So this is where I'm going to stop you guys. Listen, L. Woods. You do not have the authority to disagree with Aristotle. He is, if not one of the best philosophers of all time, he's in, for sure in the top 10. You can't correct Aristotle in your 51 second commencement speech at Harvard Law School. I'm not gonna give you that pass. You can educate everyone on the bend and snap. You cannot philosophically disagree with Aristotle. I don't care if it's a comedic movie and I don't care that your speech was super lovely and heartwarming and full of emotion and passion, like you said. Maybe I just like Aristotle too much. I don't know. You don't have the right to overrule Aristotle because this statement is very true and this is what I'm getting at, the heart of PC culture, political correctness. Law is reason free from passion. That is a 
That is more or less a fact until someone is able to describe it better than he did. The reason we're able to write down rules and laws and to govern and to create policy is because we're able to put into effect something that is void of your emotional ties, that is void of any personal story, that is free from passion. That's actually the art of law. The ability to create a document or a set of procedures or a rule of some kind that somehow was written down and put into a format, into a framework, into a structure, free from being swayed by any particular person or entity or group. It stands to reason all on its own without the support or dependence of one or another viewpoint. That is the art of law. And the inverse could be true as well. Passion is reason free from law. So we have two separate things here. We have passion and we have law. L. Woods basically says, hey, listen, Aristotle, great definition. However, I argue that there's tons of passion to be filled into law, into everything about it. And what you did is you opened a floodgate for political correctness to occur. You opened the door for all of us to be able to say, you cannot say that because it might offend blank. Hollywood does a great job of telling great stories and getting us to buy into these big pieces of artwork that they put out. And within the big great story and the big great piece of art and the narrative that it put forward, they put these snakes and they, they lace these snakes into the stories and these snakes bite you and, and you like the way they bite you because, you know, they're telling you these altruistic, full, great feeling things that we cheer for this statement because again, it's heartwarming and she, you know, delivers the, the, the bow at the end of the movie and tying everything together. It's one of those things we just overlooked as a generation who loved this movie and can quote it ad nauseum to the nth degree. We did it! <laughs> I love that part. That part's actually pretty great. But I'm gonna stop it. We can't, we can't overlook this piece. This is a very important piece. You cannot infuse passion into law. And this is where political correctness comes from. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing red flags and I'm plucking out the seed, I'm pulling up the root and I'm yanking it and I'm throwing it away because I refuse to accept that narrative. I refuse to accept that we have to be in a PC culture world. Law is law, policy is policy, and reason is reason. And it stands to be reason on the mere and sheer fact that it is free from your passion and it is free from your emotion. Because Lord knows feelings and emotions aren't subject to change over the course of a week or of a month or of a year. That's the whole point. Law shouldn't be subject to change over a week or a month or a year. It should stand to live as long as it possibly can because it is free from your emotions and from your passions and from whatever the, the feeling of the month is. My God, I'm sorry, Elle Woods, I'm done with Legally Blonde. I'm not gonna deal with this and I'm gonna start calling out what I see. That's one seed in 2001 that got put in your brain of why it's okay to start to speak around and dance around topics that might hurt someone or, or you know step on their toes. You might be thinking, man, Whitney, I think you're taking this movie too seriously. I think you're overthinking it. I think you've already overthought it. I think I know I've already overthought it and then I know that you think I'm overthinking it, but I'm gonna continue to think about it because someone has to. Ugh, man, this is exhausting. It's gotta stop, guys. We gotta get our skins tough again. We gotta start stepping on more toes. And what sucks is that in 2001, for most millennials, most people our age, you know, we were in a, a malleable mindset. We were younger. We had you know, not fully developed frontal cortexes at the time. We've created a really weak situation here where if everything you say could possibly offend another person, then you're gonna end up saying nothing and you're gonna end up stupid. You're gonna end up having had a life without any real hard conversations. We are not gonna govern ourselves moving forward off of emotions. The way that we are going to move forward as a society is if we can agree to certain rules and policies and parameters and structures. So that's all I have for today. Leave me a comment below if you disagree or if you do agree, I'm happy to hash it out even further. These are just my waking thoughts before I go head to the gym. My idle hands lead to evil thoughts. That's what I was told. I see a devil trying to creep on up. Ain't gonna get inside my soul.